And there is the ultimate dream girl, Supergirl. The uh, the lever's broken, of course, but um, yeah. But enough to talk, enough to talk about Barbies. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk to you all for a moment about um, being done uh, as far as chasing girls. Let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, we can't zoom out. I keep forgetting how the uh, the face cam works, along with the back cam. But yeah, um, I've had a recent problem with one female. I bought her so many things. Some expensive things, some non-expensive things. I think I'm just done. I think I'm just done. You can buy a woman so many, a hundred gifts, a hundred thousand gifts. You know, a gift worth 50 bucks, a gift worth a hundred dollars. I did stuff like that. Um, but I'm done. I need to look out for me based on my situation that I just talked about with my family and the water heater and all that. Um, I got to look out for one person. I have to look out for me. Now, I'm going to do whatever I can on my end with Cash App and everything, but I, I, I'm just tired of spending money on females and getting nowhere. Um, let me read you something that Kali UK actually wrote to me. Okay, so in this, yeah, it's, it's a private missive, but he talks about his life, um, you know, his dating life, his family life, his job. But let me get to the part where he talks about me, okay? As to yourself, chin up, as we say here, opportunities will come along if you put yourself out there. You're getting an almost British level of depreciating humor. Probably true. I completely fucked up my job prospects before I got this shitty job. Now I and now, but it's kept me going. Let me see if I can find the rest of that. Uh, it's kept me going to the point where I couldn't afford to live by myself on this salary, which is crazy when I work full time. Rent and utility bills are completely out of whack with reality. Not sure what it's like in America. Well, it's pretty bad, if not worse. We're too busy worrying about what Trump is doing to care about getting stuff done. I wouldn't personally get too emotionally involved with the online folks who stream, etc. Those girls thrive on attention. It's what gets them their views and gives them their purpose. Isn't there anyone closer to home? No. They can't be all. Yeah, I can't all be nut jobs, surely. I had a I had a long of long distance relationships over the past, over the net in the past. So you never know what's around the corner. Uh, he wishes me luck with my online projects. It's hard to break through, but folks do. Yeah, I put more. I'm, I'm going to editing down because he gets a little personal here that I want to talk about too much here. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, one thing he does say that's important because he does in-depth reviews for ZX Spectrum. I feel like a performing monkey at times. That's why I think I get more and more angry in my videos. Right, best go. It's a bank holiday and things to do. Take it easy in the meantime. So, you know, this girl is a singer. She got her uh, single out. A uh, beautiful woman, but and we we did we did DMs for three years, three years, and I never felt like she really wanted me. She really needed me. It was always me going to her. It's very one sided. So that's the story of every male. So I've decided I just I don't want to be buying her any more shit, and I don't want to be trying to jump jump for attention. Okay, um, I I don't want to be like that. You know, it's like the horny 12-year-old boy chasing the teacher. Um, um, so what I decided to do is just to kind of move on. You know, there's there's girls I can be infatuated with, but I know nothing about them. And infatuation's fine. Uh, as long as you just don't get, you don't simp too hard and get caught up in stuff, you know. Uh, don't invest. Uh, some of these guys that pick on these girls that are like hot tub thoughts and stuff. Hey, that's how the girls make the money. If they can buy, if they can pay for their rent and utilities with their Twitch money or, or their OnlyFans money, more power to them. Wish I could do that, but I'm not there to make fun of them. The only thing is that this one black dude, I think is called the no simp zone. The only thing he ever cares about is if, if a girl after prostitution, because that's usually illegal. Uh, if a girl is promising a service of some kind to a male, and she doesn't deliver. Like, let's say, okay, no prostitution, but she she will, if you spend a couple of hundred bucks, she will go with you to a Dodger game. You Just you and her, right? And she doesn't do it. That's a problem. So I think after years of dating and 
blind dating. I think I'm, I'm done with the blind dating. Now, I put the chasing quotation marks because I just, I'm in my, four, I'm 45. I just don't, I don't care. Um, if, if a girl, like, um, I still think of uh, Mandy, who I met at the library. And Mandy was a girl that kind of gave me signals. I'll know when a girl gives me signals. It'll be kind of obvious. Um, you know, I can nudge someone, but if she says, well, I'm busy, then that's it. If you're busy, you're busy. It's like one black dude said on Joe Rogan, when you want her, that's the usual animal. That's the unicorn. When she wants you, that's the horse. That's a whole different thing. So a man wanting a woman is the unicorn. But what is the horse? Only a horse is real or a zebra, I guess, black and white. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, there are just females I like on the outside. And if they surprise me on the inside, if, if my perception of them is more than what is reflected back at me, then that's someone worth a damn. Otherwise, I'm just not going to hold my breath. That's it. So moving on to that. And I got one more vlog before I have my late dinner.